Hey everybody, welcome to today's episode of Daily IoT. On today's episode, we're gonna talk about CNCing my hockey pucks and how this is being a much larger cost than I originally anticipated uh, when I started this project. And so uh, as part of the puck project, as you know, we're gonna take an officially licensed hockey puck uh, so that uh, the NHL and the teams and everybody that needs to get their cut of the money gets their cut of the money. And then I'm going to do basically a value add on top of that. I am going to carve out the inside of it slap some electronics and a case inside and you will have our hockey puck that has player or and or team stats showing on it. Uh, but as part of that, we need to take these officially licensed pucks and we need to create a cavity in them. And to do that, we're gonna use a CNC machine. And can I remember what CNC stands for? Computer numeric control, I think is what it stands for. Basically, it's a fancy term for a computer is a, uh, driving a, a cutter head, like a router bit or something like that to precision cut um, a cavity out of the puck. And so I need, I can't do this uh, cleanly with normal tools. I need to use something like a CNC machine and we've, uh, Agility's had a couple of these CNC'd up. It turns out really nice. Uh, and so that's just part of my process for creating a finished puck that is ready to sell. And uh, what I'm finding the problem with that is, is that it is expensive. And so I think I might have mentioned in a previous episode, so I apologize if this is a repeat, uh, but to CNC out the pucks for the prototype run of five cost me $75 a puck, which is crazy. And so for the run of 100, you expect that number to go down quite a bit. And it did, but not as far down as I was hoping. So my final cost is probably gonna be around $12 a puck just to CNC it out. And so when you talk about costs of goods sold or the amount of money that it's gonna take for me to get each of these pucks ready to sell, uh, I've got about $10 to $12 in puck cost plus another $12 in CNC, plus I gotta ship, pay shipping to get the pucks to the uh, CNC place and get them back to me. I'm already like $25 or more just in getting the puck ready to create a product from it. And so um, I got a couple of quotes locally uh, nearby. There's a couple of machine shops that have CNC machines. They were higher priced. It was like 20 up to $20 a puck to get these things CNC'd out. And so this is a cost that I was not expecting. It's it's pushing me up. You know, again, I'm trying to be profitable from the start. I don't have to be massively pop, uh, massively profitable, but I do want to make clear break even, even from the beginning. And then if I can um, fine tune the supply chain and logistics and things like that, I can create more profit through that. But um, so CNC is really biting into that right now, and so. Uh, that's that's where we're at with the CNC cost. I'm trying to plan for this. You know, I, I, I looked into some options of buying a little CNC machine myself that I could try and CNC these from. I don't want to mess with that right now because I've got a lot of other things I need to focus on. Um, but even then, if I were to buy a machine and I'm doing this like in my garage, how is that going to scale? You know, I can do 100 pucks easy. Just spend a Saturday, CNC them out, and I'm good to go. What does that look like when I need to scale? And I've been thinking a lot about that. Like, what happens if I want to make a run of a thousand? Well, now my garage is probably not as good of an option. Um, I'm also, you know, with what these pucks are, what what are the team faces? You know, how many Oilers pucks do I need to do? How many Washington Capitals pucks do I need to do? And so, because I can't silk screen the logos on, I need to be thinking about you know the quantities that I need for different teams and how I want to sell. And so, uh, anyway, that's kind of what we've been going through thinking about lately CNC which brings me up to something uh, a point that I've been thinking about a lot lately which is I need to be doing more biz dev business development talking making connections you know if I had a a connection that was a CNC shop I might be able to get a better deal with a partnership things like that where it's like hey I know you're taking a little bit of risk on me but this could work out for both of us in the end and so um, I need to be making more connections um, just not not just in manufacturing CNC, but I mean all sorts of things, PCB assembly, uh, uh, PCB fab, things like that, uh, sourcing components. The more connections I can make, uh, I think the better positioned I will be going into the future uh, as I continue to make product, whether it's the hockey puck or whether it's something else that I make, uh, the more connections that I can have, the more business development I can do, I think the better long-term. And so that's something that I've been thinking a lot about lately as well. And so, um, 
I think that's it. I think that's it for today's update. Um, again, CNC is really, uh, the cost is really pushing me there, but uh, we'll get it figured out. I think we're still okay, uh, even at that kind of a cost per puck. For now, that's not something I wanna be paying long-term. And so uh, that's it. That's gonna do it for today's episode. Question of the day, uh, who uh, is somebody, a company or a person that you know that I should biz dev with, that I should reach out, make a connection, get to know, um, and just, again, like make another friend out there in the industry that can teach me something and help guide me. Who is that person or company that you know of that I should reach out to and uh, get to know a little bit better? Stick it in the comments below if you don't want to put somebody's information down there. Send me an email, kevin at sidwar.com. Uh, with that information, I would love to reach out and meet more people uh, as I'm you know, again, evolving and going through this, this process. So I appreciate everybody watching Daily IoT, the show where together we're learning how to make the Internet of Things one day at a time.